before you head to Poland, there are a few things you absolutely need to know and some of these don'ts might surprise you, but trust me, they'll make your trip smoother and help you blend in like a local. Whether it's avoiding common tourist faux pas or respecting local customs, these tips will ensure you don't accidentally step on any toes. So if you want to make the most out of your Polish adventure without any awkward moments, stick around, we've got you covered. Number one, don't call Poland Eastern Europe. When discussing Poland, it's essential to recognize the country's regional identity. So don't call Poland Eastern Europe. Many Poles strongly identify as part of Central Europe due to their rich history, culture, and geographic location. For instance, while Eastern Europe often brings to mind associations with the former Soviet Union, Poland has a distinct historical narrative with deep ties to Western European culture, especially during the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth era. Referring to Poland as Central Europe not only respects their identity, but also acknowledges their significant contributions to European history, such as their role in resisting Ottoman expansion in the 17th century. Don't assume everyone speaks English. While English is common in major cities like Warsaw or Krakow, especially among the younger generation and in tourist areas, it's a different story in smaller towns or rural areas. Their English might not be as widely spoken and knowing a few basic Polish phrases can make a big difference. Simple greetings like Dzień dobry, good day, or expressions like dziękuję, thank you not only help you navigate better but also show respect for the local culture and often lead lead to warmer interactions with locals for example if you're in a small village looking for directions or ordering food using basic polish can be greatly appreciated and might even earn you a smile or friendly chat don't expect free tap water in restaurants in Poland, it's important to remember that free tap water in restaurants isn't the norm. Unlike in places like the US or the UK, where you might automatically get a glass of tap water with your meal. Polish restaurants typically serve bottled water and it's often an added cost. When dining out, you'll usually be asked whether you prefer still or sparkling water. So it's a good idea to be prepared to specify your choice and understand that this is part of the dining experience here. This practice reflects cultural norms and the local preference for bottled water, which is often considered safer and of higher quality. So when you're out enjoying a meal in Poland, just be aware that this is one of those little cultural differences that adds to the unique charm of dining in a different country. Don't overlook Polish etiquette. Polish etiquette places a high value on respect and formality. When meeting someone, it's customary to greet them with a firm handshake, accompanied by direct eye contact. Punctuality is also very important. Being late is seen as disrespectful, especially in professional settings. Additionally, in formal or business contexts, avoid overly casual behavior. For example, addressing someone by their first name too early in a relationship might come across as too informal. Poles appreciate a certain level of decorum, especially in initial interactions. Don't expect shops to be open on Sundays. In Poland, many shops, especially large supermarkets and malls, are closed on Sundays due to laws restricting trade on that day. This is part of a cultural shift to give workers a day off of rest and to encourage family time. While some smaller convenience stores or shops in tourist areas might remain open, it's wise to plan ahead and do your shopping on weekdays or Saturdays. For example, if you're planning a Sunday outing, make sure to buy any essentials the day before. Don't forget to remove your shoes. When visiting someone's home in Poland, it's customary to remove your shoes at the entrance. This tradition is rooted in practicality as it helps keep the home clean, especially during wet or snowy weather. Your host will typically provide you with house slippers or you may bring your own. Ignoring this custom can be seen as disrespectful, so it's always best 
to follow your host's lead. For example, if you're invited to a dinner party, remember to take off your shoes upon entering as a sign of respect. Don't engage in public displays of anger in Poland. Maintaining composure in public is important. Poles value politeness and self-control. <laughs> so public outbursts of anger or frustration can be viewed negatively. For example, raising your voice in a disagreement or showing visible irritation in a store or a restaurant can make others uncomfortable. Instead, it's best to handle conflicts calmly and privately. This approach aligns with the cultural norm of maintaining dignity and respect in social interactions. Don't skip saying Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry, good day is more than just a greeting in Poland. It's a fundamental part of daily courtesy. Whether you're entering a small shop, a cafe, or even meeting someone in a shared space, saying Dzień dobry is expected and appreciated. For instance, when you walk into a local bakery, a simple Dzień dobry helps create a friendly atmosphere and shows respect for the people working there. Skipping this greeting can come across as rude or indifferent, so it's a small gesture that goes a long way. Don't forget to tip in Poland. Tipping is customary in restaurants and it's a sign of appreciation for good service. While tips are generally not included in the bill, it's expected to leave around 10% of the total as a tip. For example, if your bill comes to 100 PLN, adding a 10 PLN tip is standard practice. This applies not only to fine dining, but also to casual eateries and cafes. While it's not mandatory, failing to tip, especially when service has been good, can be seen as a lack of gratitude. Don't assume everything is cheap. While Poland is generally known for being an affordable travel destination, it's important not to assume that everything is cheap. Basic goods, public transportation, and everyday meals are often budget-friendly, but when it comes to luxury items, services, or dining in high-end restaurants, prices can be comparable to those in Western Europe. For example, a meal at a Michelin-starred restaurant in Warsaw or Krakow could set you back significantly more than a casual meal at a local eatery. Similarly, shopping for designer brands or booking luxury accommodations can be quite expensive. Always consider what you're purchasing and where, as the cost can vary widely depending on the experience you're seeking. And there you have it, some essential don'ts to keep in mind when you visit Poland. By being aware of these cultural nuances and customs, you'll not only avoid any awkward moments, but also show respect for the local traditions. Whether it's mastering a few key phrases, understanding local etiquette, or simply knowing what not to do, these tips will help you enjoy a more authentic and enjoyable experience in Poland. So go ahead, explore with confidence and make the most of your time in this beautiful country. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more travel tips and insights. Got any questions or your own tips for traveling in Poland? Drop them in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. Safe travels. And now to wrap up, let's take a moment to appreciate the beautiful sights and sounds of Warsaw. Enjoy these stunning views of the city from its historic landmarks to its vibrant modern life. Until next time.